Hunger Names. Da, 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 da. Hey! <laughs> uh -oh. Can I see your license and registration, please? I don't want to get a ticket. We're too late. Uh oh. <laughs> Today on The Hunger Names, we are doing a Halloween themed episode. You couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, and we are going to be making. Pumpkin brownie spiders. All right, yeah, and they're gonna be tasty Ooh, and yeah. fun. So this is gonna be our first video. We're gonna do this in two parts, so make sure you check out the second video to see how you decorate them. But in this video, we are just gonna focus on making the brownies. Yeah, All exactly. Right. So our ingredients that we need for this is flour. All right. Walnuts. Cocoa powder. Eggs <laughs> and pumpkin, pumpkin puree, puree, which comes in a can. Sugar, melted butter, chocolate chips, vanilla extract, salt, allspice, and baking powder. All right. So step number one, we are going to combine the flour, baking powder, and salt. So it's kind of a usual thing for baking, combining the dry ingredients except for that baking powder. Exactly. Half a teaspoon of salt, and then the baking powder. So half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. And you always want to stir the baking powder because then you'll have weird clumps of rice dough and stuff like that. So make sure you do stir it. Mm -hmm. All right. And now we're on to step two. So step two, we'll put that aside and we are going to combine the butter. Le butter. Mm. Yeah. That's a one and a half sticks of melted butter. You can use the microwave or, you know, if you're against microwaves, you can use the stove. Just make sure it doesn't burn. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we've kind of let it sit for a little bit so that it's not super hot. Yeah, because then when you add the eggs, the eggs won't cook. So we're going to add one and a half cups of sugar. Oh, yeah. And then we're also going to add the vanilla, which is two teaspoons. Looking good already. already. Oh yeah. One dose. There's no alcohol in this recipe. Oh, this is alcohol. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm, I'm, a, I'm on duty. You shouldn't be drinking and driving, officer. I said I'm on duty. <laughs> so is that mix it really well. All yeah. Right. I want to mix it until all the ingredients are combined very well. All right. And, and then, then we, we add the eggs. Yeah. So okay. one at a time. You want to add. Oops, there it goes. goes. I'm an expert. expert. I'm an expert. So you want to mix the eggs really well, one at a time. So mix it really well, add the second egg, mix it really well, add the third egg. All right, now we got step three. All right. So we're going to slowly combine the dry to the wet. So just a little bit, and then we mix. Make sure you mix it all up good before you add more. Make sure it's all really, really well combined. So once it is combined, we want to split the batter between two bowls. So you can either eye it yourself or you can, you know, use a measuring cup and all that crap. Kind of or you just gonna like eye it. Alright, so for step four, we're gonna add some chocolate and the chocolate the chips. Exactly. So add the chocolate chips. And with cocoa powder, you kinda have to sift it sometimes because there's clumps Sorry. and the clumps are hard to get rid of if you don't sift it so you could just use a strainer interesting or if you have a flour sifter I didn't know that yeah so you'll see there's clumps already you want to make sure they're all broken down you can use a spoon oh. so now we want to mix it all up and yep. well combined again in this bowl exactly so it's all oh. good chocolatey mix you really don't need a lot of cocoa powder you would think you need more because you know, you just always want more chocolate. Mm. But you want to be careful. Yeah, it looks pretty saturated. It's very saturated. So this is 
kind of the traditional brownie batter. Mm -hmm. And then in this bowl, we are going to make the traditional pumpkin batter. Exactly. So now that we've done that, we are going on to step five. And add pumpkin and battery. And pumpkin. Yeah, so let's get that over. Ooh. Nice. And the walnuts, right? Walnuts. All right. And the allspice. So this is half a cup of walnuts, mm -hmm. right? Half a cup of crushed walnuts. And chop them up. Chop them up. And then we're gonna do two teaspoons of allspice. Or you can do cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves if you don't have it. it smells really good. Yeah. Mm. So since I uh, have wet ingredients on the te teaspoon, I'm just gonna measure out four half teaspoons. For a total of two teaspoons. Exactamundo. So now that we have it all mixed up, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is... Step six. Okay. Step six. So we're gonna take our already, already buttered pan, which is gonna be a muffin pan because we want the round circles for a spider body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we're gonna put the mixture in the pan, but we're gonna do it a special way, right? Yep, exactly. So we're gonna put a little bit of chocolate mix, it's a little sticky because it's chocolatey. And then we kind of make sure it goes in nicely. And then you add, not too much, not too much. A little bit of banana. <laughs> Pumpkin. Pumpkin, I'll we'll squish it around. And we're trying to make layers mm -hmm. pretty much here for the spider body. And you want to kind of end up with the pumpkin as the last layer. So you could do like four. Four layers, yeah. And make sure you don't overfill your muffin yeah. tin because we don't want it to be a full headed it, muffin. Yeah, which this might be, but we'll, we'll work with it. We can always cut yeah. it if possible. Yeah. But, you know, it's but just. A, there we go. Okay. It looks like a delicious chocolatey sandwich thing. It does. And then what we do, how it looks so funky, we take a, well, you can use a chopstick or anything like this. I'm using a straw and you swirl it around to kind of make it a sort of marbled look. So we'll see how this turns out. All right. All right, just, just a small amount, you don't need too much. So then you just want to repeat that for the entire tray. Exactly. So now we have our muffin tin all filled in. Look how great. delicious it looks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we are going to put it in the oven. We already had it preheating for 350 degrees. So let's put it on in. Booyah, right in the oven. Mm. So you want to bake them for 30 to 35 minutes. And then once a toothpick goes in and comes out clean, you know it's done. So now we have pulled our brownies out of the oven and they look gorgeous and oh, we are yeah. ready to taste them. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ah! Ah! All right. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> All right, let's right. give it a try. Ooh, look, look at that. And look at the nice little marble texture yeah. look to it. Ready? Um, mm. um, um, um. Oh, that was really like, good. Mm -hmm. I like how mm. the um, chocolate like, chips are like melty. Yeah, it tastes like pumpkin pie and brownies at the mm -hmm. same time. Mm. Mm. And the nuts give it a great texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for our other episode that's going to show you how to decorate these. The remaining, if there's any. Mm -hmm. And turn them into this cute looking spider. Ooh. Also stick around because we are doing a costume contest this October. So stay tuned for the costume contest video and make sure you enter. And thanks for watching again. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. We have plenty other Hunger Dame videos, we have other Nerdtastic videos, video game parody videos, all sorts of fun stuff. So stick around for more beauty like this. Oh yeah. Bye. <laughs>